What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Now today we're going to be looking at another piece of our uh, beginner video tutor uh, manual here. And this is how and why to use uh, channel insert presets. Now, um, you throughout the course of using a DAW, you want to kind of just um, figure out things that can... Uh, processes that you always do and kind of figure out a way to make them a little bit faster so channel insert presets are amazing for this so for example um I um in the past I, I well let me show you how to make them first if you if you look at the inserts you have you have two choices here you have this plus which it, which will bring up your plugins and then this triangle which will bring up some of the stock presets now you can go to this option right here to where it says store effects chain and it will give you it will give you the option to name it so I'm gonna name this I'm gonna name this hall send because this is because this is uh, an effect send let me see I'm sorry hall send and then I'll make a subfolder for it and I'll call this um I'll call this my sends and now when I pull it up if I look in uh, this see the sends folder is created right here and then boom there's my hall send so if I go say say I go to this this one right here and I wanted to put um, this effects chain from the send track like directly on an insert or something I could do that and there it is boom just like that so another reason why you would want to do this especially if um, you know say say you're one of these guys where you produce uh, locally and you record like rappers in your in, in your home studio um, the way that each person hits the mic um, will be different but say you wind up say you have an artist um, that comes through regularly you guys are working on a project probably you're gonna be using uh, the same the uh, probably the same compressor and the same you know roughly the same settings um, if you're you know if you're decent at recording and you and you set up your input correctly um, you could do that probably gonna have a similar EQ profile so you could start with so you could start with an EQ um, uh, an EQ plugin and then you'll probably have um, you know different sends set up to uh, you know to your vocal template and and this is a very 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 common practice in um, you know in pro re recording studios especially uh, maybe not so much when it comes to um, like R&B and rock music but for hip hop music mixing templates uh, go a long way they get you they, they get you where you need to go and this is just an amazing way to do it so uh, and the great thing about it is is you can is if you were to store the effects chain you know you can make a subfolder for each artist um, you know for their for their main layer for their ad lib layer you know for their fill in layers and things like that so this is definitely a uh, an amazing tool and then on top of that as you get into you know as you get into bus processing and stuff like that like um you know say you know say i wanted to have a um um a situation where i wanted oh there's movement i was wondering when that would show up um say say i wanted to have a situation where like i wanted um i wanted like a lo-fi bus right so i could have so i could so i could have retro color on there um and then and then for and you know i could also have the um the Akai emulator and then just go ahead and save this right here store effects chain do a subfolder um, we'll call this you know this will, this will be the sauce folder right and then and then if I wanted to add that to you know to individual to individual channels so, or what have you boom you could have it so yeah this is this is definitely something that is super powerful super overlooked and it's these little workflow enhancements that when that that'll save you a minute here a minute there but when you stack them on top of each other they wind up saving you 20 30 minutes per session uh so this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple but don't be basic and we will see you on the next one